Yo, 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 guys, welcome back again today. Today, we're going to be talking about the Mercy people. The Mercy people are a nihilotic, pastoralist ethnic group in Ethiopia. The people are located close to South Sudan in the Omo Valley. This is one of the most isolated regions in the country, and the people move two times a year due to the climate. The people grow crops and herd cattle along the Omo River banks. Cattle of herds are not used to usually eat, but to show a sign of wealth. This sometimes leads to cattle stealing clashes and conflicts arising between local tribes. Other events that can cause conflict is water access, perceived insults, and grazing lands for cattle. Guns are used by the people as well. It is very normal and heroic to kill one's enemies, especially when defending the tribe, your honor, or the cattle. The Mercy practice scarification as well as ear and mouth jewelry. Scarification can have many different meanings, with the main two being how many wives or enemies you have killed. This can include animals as well. The women usually wear lip plates in their mouth or ears. In modern days, women can choose if they only want them in their mouth or in their ears. Usually young women who are not married wear the wooden jewelry all the time when they are single. The lip is slowly stretched over time with larger sticks being inserted every night. It is said that a woman who does not wear a lip plate is considered lazy. These lip plates can be made of clay or wood and are worn at weddings dunga duelings, competitions, and dances. A married woman has a choice, but out of respect, has to wear the wooden jewelry when serving her husband food. Once her husband passes away, she may remove the plates forever. The men shave geometric patterns in their heads, and during dance ceremonies, they cover their entire body in white chalk paint. This clay and mineral mix comes from the earth. This paint is symbolic and decorative. It is believed to ward off evil spirits, intimidate enemies, and attract the opposite sex. It is also a protector from the Ethiopian sun, and the limestone inside the clay acts as an insect repellent. Men will paint each other's faces and judge how good of a job his partner did by other people's reaction. Young unmarried men practice a stick fighting. The men, like other ethnic groups in the area, have to pass this test before marriage. The mercy man is given a stick or a dunga. Two men will battle each other in stick fighting and the first man to submit loses. And a dueling kit is also worn as well. This kit is known as the amoga, which provides protection. This includes shin guards made from animal skin with a leopard skin draped over the torso. Headgear is from cotton and a cattle bell is tied around the waist of the man. The winner of this tradition is carried on top of poles to girls waiting beside the arena. The girls will speak with other girls to see who will ask the man's hand in marriage. The Mercy people rarely divorce unless a woman cannot bear a child. Unlike different peoples and tribes in Ethiopia, the Mercy believe younger people should explore different partners before marriage. Young Mercy girls usually get their lower lip pierced around the age of 15 to 16. If she can tolerate a larger lip plate, her cattle bride price will be higher. The skin will stretch over time with bigger plates and wood added over time into the girl's lips or ears. Danger is always present when looking after cattle in the village, but chatting, music, and relaxation is a norm for the people. The Mercy have a rich oral tradition in which they pass and preserve knowledge, history, morals, and philosophy. Healing and religion are interconnected. The divine emerges from the people's natural and social experiences in the world. 
illness knowledge is also passed down as well. Priests within the community provide context for a healthy community. When treatment is needed, the priests are sought out. There is a ranking of priests from higher ritual families to lesser ritual families. Crops dying, epidemics, droughts, and other problems are all spoke about to the priests. Women healers are also present in the peoples as well. This is a tradition within the mercy. The mercy speak the mercy language and age sets are placed in the society. Different age grades will be passed through and this affects the political structure within the people. The women will have the same age grade status as their husband, even if they are younger. The Mercy's main crop is sorghum. This grain can survive the heat and droughts. Women will make the sorghum into a thick porridge. Beans, chickpeas, and maize are also grown. The women will collect firewood and water to cook for the children and men. Mercy land was incorporated into the Ethiopian state when Menelik II expanded his kingdom southwards. The Mercy still live traditionally, excluding the Mercy that live in modern cities. In the 1960s, the Omo National Park would start a transformation for the people, as well as tourism of people coming to visit the Mercy. Money is now given in some occasions to the people, in which they buy coffee, spices, tools, cloth, and medicine. Some argue this will hurt the peoples and eventually change the way they live until the tradition is lost. The hydroelectric dam that Ethiopia has built is right in the middle of the basin, which eliminates the natural flood. The Mercy and other peoples in the area have always depended on the flood to come downstream to cultivate and for pastoralism practices. This Ethiopian landmark and energy source might make peoples in the area resettle and change their way of life. So you guys, today we learned about the famous Mercy people. You guys know them, especially around the world, people know them for their lip plates and their ear plates. Please like the video so it can help the algorithm. Subscribe so you can get more videos like this as well. Also, turn on the bell notification down there so you'll never miss any of my videos. Check out my new online African diaspora collectible art, NFT art, and it's called Diaspora. The link is down there in the description. Add me on all social medias, which is Afric Network, which is Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Facebook, Snapchat, and TikTok. Each one teach one. Always love each other. Always learn from each other. And yo guys, until next time, peace, one love.